We don't. Hey, your whole life. No. They gonna tell you you can't. Because you know why? But it's a trap. Because you know why? I'm trapped. No, no. Like a motherfucker. No, I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. Because <laughs> once you do, whenever something go down, they gonna throw it back in your face. That's, I've had That's that. why. Real. That's why. So you can't ever. That's why you cry because your dad yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black people. I would really love if you all could release these shackles. Please. It's said that majority of our people have never experienced healthy relationships. And it shows every single day on this app, on these podcasts, on these mics, for a man or a woman, when something is bothering you mentally or emotionally, you should be able to open up to your partner. You should be able to be honest and vulnerable. You should be able to trust this person you should feel safe. And if you don't, guess what? You're choosing the wrong person. That person does not have the capacity to hold that space for you. Because the same way that men are saying when they open up to women and women throw things back up in their face, when men do certain things for women, guess what they do? Guess what women have stories about men doing the same thing? So if that's the case and it's happening on both sides, what does that tell you? And one more thing. If you're a man or a woman and you cannot open up in your relationship, don't be in one. Thank you. Open up to this is why male leadership is important in relationships. We men understand the burden of performance within another man relationship. So we will be like, okay, you can talk to other guys and you understand. They'll be like, okay, I understand what you're going through. We don't expect women to understand what we go through. Just like women won't understand, sit here and be like, I'm going through a period. Do you understand? We wouldn't understand. We never go through periods. Our emotions are not erratic. We don't have periods where our emotions go all over the place. We can't understand that. I don't have nothing to speak on that because I don't understand. I never got that experience. My emotion was never all over the place. I'm just like, I'm feeling happy, sad, and all these other things. I've never been in that state. I always had my emotions in a majority of my life under control. It takes a lot for me to lose control of my emotions, you know. So if women want to sit here and say, open up, it's because we understand you wouldn't understand the walk of a man. Only another man can understand that this is what he's going through. I understand. Just like if a woman talk about her period and stuff like that, I won't understand. I don't know the cycle process. A woman could sit here and be like, I know the pain and stuff like that. She understands what you're going through. I don't. I'm not going to sit here and say it's not that deep because I don't know how it feels. So when a woman said open up, you it wouldn't really matter. You only care because you like me. And I respect that and I care. And I, that's cool. But you don't really care, care. Like, it's not really authentic. You only care because you like me. That's an emotion. Like, that like is an emotion. Once she stopped caring, she don't care about nothing you've been through. You could have lost a lot of family members. She'll be like, I don't care. Stop calling my phone. I'm with my new boyfriend. You know, so we got to understand that it's all in that emotional state that she's accepting certain things from you. Once she doesn't care no more, she stopped accepting stuff. So when the woman say open up, there's no purpose. You don't understand this. The walk of a man is completely different than the walk of a woman. So if another talks to another guy, he'll understand, be like, I understand. I've been through that. And he can coach you to how to overcome it. He'll have solutions. He don't want to sit here and have a therapy conversation with you. He'll be like, I have solutions. Do you want to hear the solutions? We can work out. We can do this. We can do it. Like, you have solutions. Your girl will only listen. And she'll be like, it's okay, babe. What do you need? You don't have solutions. That's why you're speaking about it. That's the difference between men and women. When we talk about something, it's because we want solutions. I don't want to just talk about my feelings. I need solutions. If you could find me a way to fix this problem, that would be very appreciative and I'd be grateful. Because if I talk about it today, I don't want to sit here and wake up and keep thinking about it. I want a solution. That's how we work. So 
there's no point in speaking to a woman. It's like, okay, she's gonna have no solution. She's gonna be like, I'm trying to, she's gonna try to think of certain things to help you, but it wouldn't really matter because she doesn't know how to. You gotta go to another guy. He will understand. He will completely understand. Just like I say, if when a woman talk about her period, I'm not gonna go talk to a doctor, go talk to the woman. I have no expertise in this. I have I have nothing. I don't know what's going on. You gotta go talk to a doctor. You gotta talk to them. I don't know what that's nowhere near my expertise. But when you are a man going through something, talk to another man. He'll understand. The burden of performance, he will understand. A woman will not. And it's not a bash towards women. We're just acknowledging the difference. You never have to be in this position. To be the leader is, is a choice for you. A man is not a choice. Like If you're not a leader, then you have to be in a position where you're like following her. And y'all have to have these conversations. When a man sit here and say, if you don't build yourself to be the leader and stuff like that, you will be in a sad relationship. That's just life. And when you follow a woman, it's going to lead to the end of the relationship because she will be like, I want a man that's going to take control. I want a man that's going to lead me somewhere. And when you don't know what you're doing, she's unattracted to you. If she don't know what she's doing, she has a leader to correct her. So if you want answers, you go to other leaders to understand how they're running the operation. How can I understand what well, I'm messing up right now? Can, can you help me out? You don't go to the phone and be like, how are you going to know? That's not her place. It is not disrespect, but that's, that's not her place. Opening up to women is the worst thing you can do. One of my biggest regrets in life, I won't lie to you, one of my biggest regrets in life was that I was in a relationship and I cried in front of her. It was my family never seen me cry in years. And opening up, I, I cried one time in front of her. One time, my whole life I cried. And when I cried that one time, I remember it to this day, it's, it's, it's stuck in me. Because I always looked at it like when she cried, I was there to support. I was like, I'm, I understand the pain. I, I don't really understand it completely, but I was like, I'm, I understand the pain. You're hurting. I'm here for you. Whatever you need, I got you. I'm going to be your stone right now. And when I went through my moment at that time, I was broken at that point, And I was like, damn, you know, and we had a little argument after a while and stuff like that. And one of the conversation was that, you know, I, I screamed out like, Sometimes I feel like I love you more than you love me. And she screamed back and she was like, maybe you do. And that broke me right there, guys. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm being open with y'all right now. That broke me right there. She did all these other things and stuff like that. But when she said that it justified everything that happened in our relationship, every little moment that I questioned and stuff like that, I was like, and that's what made me understand women more naturally. You know, I, I don't hate women. It's just we have to understand women. When she said that, some women will never say it. Some women will keep it to themselves and say it to other people, maybe I don't like him like that. She'll start questioning it, doubting it. She already know the answer. She already know the answer. But she would try to get just faith and say, okay, maybe I'm not like you. She want other people to clarify and say, okay, you don't like him. And she'll be like, you, you think so? I don't know. I'm, you know, she try to, you know, she's trying to finesse it. So somebody can really just make the decision for, okay, no, okay, you, you right. I don't like him like that. How do I end this? She already made the decision a long time ago. But she's trying to justify her reason, have people like, well, I talked to my friend and I talked to this other guy and I talked to. So she had people behind her to back her decision that she already pre-made. So when I sat there and I broke down at one point and I was like, anytime she broke down, I was there. I was supporting. I was like, I'm always going to be here for you when this did that happen. And when she did that, you know, I broke down for the first time in a long time. Haven't broke down like that in a long time. It was that one time and I was like, damn. And when I seen the reaction, it was like one time I tried to do like a nice gesture, flowers and all these other things, teddy bears, stuff like her favorite food. I brought it to her and we got into it. And when she said that, I was like, damn, like sometimes I just feel like and I said it first calmly. I was like, sometimes I just feel like you don't you don't love me like I love you. I feel like I love you more. And she screamed out, maybe you do. And th that that was that was everything. That was everything. You know, I was like, I wasn't perfect, guys. I'm not going to sit here. So I, was I wasn't perfect. But when I understood that, I was like, damn, I, the fact that she can make eye contact and people could say she did all these things. But it's like when a woman says it's over, it's over. And it has to be over a long time ago in her mind to sit here and be comfortable with that because she never acted like that. But to understand that it's just like the gravity is to understand that no matter what you do, you can't hold that place. And you should never think that you got that, that place on lock. Never. So that's why I say opening up is a is a serious thing, guys. 
It's a serious thing because, again, when women cry and stuff like that, guys in the streets want to help her out. Are you okay, ma'am? If a man is crying, <laughs> people are like, we look at it weird. Like, what you crying for? Why are you crying in public like this, man? I lost my job. Other guys will be like, you can never. We, the first thing you tell a man, never never show this to other people. I understand you're going something. Ask guys, talk to us. Like, talk to a man. Don't show this to other people. Because people will never care for a struggling man. You're broken in the streets. You can't figure it out. People don't care. People don't care. As a man, people don't care. So other guys have to tell you, you can never show this. I know the world's tough. I know this is not easy to accept, but you can never show this to the world. They will not have empathy. They will have sympathy. You have to understand that. Sympathy, not empathy. So you have to get your life together and stand up. You was made this person for a reason, but you have to understand how to win. It's, it's, a, it's a hard pill to swallow, but you as a man have to understand that the world will never accept my emotions. Number one people that will never accept it is women. How society and everything is built, they will never accept it how we, it's supposed to be accepted. So if a man is crying, you got to tell him, get it together. We man, look at you, got to get it together. I understand. I understand. We, we, we've been here. We definitely been here, but you got to get it together. Talk to us, work with us, but you have to get it together. You cannot let them see you like this. They don't respect it. They see sympathy. Oh, that's so sad. Keep driving. They don't give a damn. Like it's not empathy to feel the pain because another man will understand the pain. And you tell him, I, I've been through a lot, man. I try to, you know, I really, I'm trying, I'm really trying, man. And another man could be like, I was here. I could see myself in him. And you got to tell him how you overcame it. And it wasn't no, everybody's holding my hand. Everybody's patting me down. No, it was, I had to overcome it. I had to work. So in that type of situation, like, there's no point of, you know, sitting here trying to tell women this stuff because she would never understand. She could say she's going to be supporting you and stuff like that. That's cool. But you have to understand it's all an emotional thing to her. Once she goes this, the relationship is done. You could have cried 50 times. Once she's done, she's done. And that's life. And we have to accept it. We have to accept it, guys. Like, anytime a woman cries, she's always going to get support, guys. It'll be like a child crying. They're going to be like, oh, my God, are you okay? If a man is crying, they're going to be like, he's making everybody uncomfortable. It's always the saddest thing. A man crying makes everybody uncomfortable. A woman crying, she's like a victim craziness but like i'm subscribed guys